Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this is going to be the bomb wash and go combo that I'm going to be doing today. So if you guys want to see how I got this wash and go, keep on watching. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. As usual, I did use the Mountain Moisture Curl, uh, Coconut Curl Quench Shampoo and Conditioner to start this wash and go. And then right there, you guys see me spritzing aloe vera juice in my hair, which I pretty much used that the entire video between aloe vera juice and water um, just to get my hair wet again. I usually seal my hair with aloe vera juice anyway in the shower. So I'm just applying that first and smoothing that through my hair. I actually really love how aloe vera juice um, makes my hair look. I feel like it gives me a really nice shine. So I'm going to be applying that. Next I'm going to go in with the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil, Oil Curl Milk first and applying that to my hair. And I'm going to detangle using my Felicia Leatherwood um, brush. I want to try out the Tanker te uh, Teaser Brush. I feel like everybody has been using that and I really want to try it. And it looks really good because I do like my actual Tangle Teaser. Anyway, now I'm going to go through and break in the Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie by Maui Moisture. And I'm just going to be applying that to my hair. Side note, I was not sponsored by Maui Moisture. My Maui Moisture products I did purchase myself. I actually did a video on this, um, I think last year or the year before. Um, I did two videos on it. I did it and used it in a haul. Um, I showed it in a haul and then I showed it, I believe, in a twist out video. But I will have those links down below if you guys want to check those out. My first thoughts on the products when I first bought them. Um, but I wanted to, I've been liking these like no gel wash and goes, even though I know in the summer it is not going to work. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to just show you guys the front section. And right now I'm just applying to my scalp my um, Moisture Love Sealed with Kiss um, hair oil. I just apply a little bit to my scalp, especially in the front. Um, because my crown, you guys know I have psoriasis and I just like to keep the front of my hair, very, front of my scalp, very, very moisturized. Um, and again, I'm just going to show you guys a front section, um, repeating the same process using the hair milk and just the curl smoothie. And I will see you guys uh, when I finish applying all the products. Oh, and just real quick, when I get to the front of my hair, I do shingle. I do shingle in the back as well, but I guess I'm a little bit more detailed when I do it in the front. Um, just because I like my front to be pretty defined, um, but not too way down so if you guys see me doing the shingling method then you know I forgot to mention that earlier
now that I finished applying all the product, I just go in and smooth my edges with some gel. I don't really like do my edges. I just kind of lay them flat. I'm not really into the swooping of my edges. I just kind of apply it just so that it's um, laid down um, once I take my scarf off. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just pretty much applying it and kind of sweeping them back. I don't style my edges, you guys know that. And I just tie that down before I sit under my hooded dryer. I sat under my hooded dryer for about an hour and a half or so um, before I finished. And the next gut part you, I'm going to show you is me stretching my hair um, with my blow dryer. I never ever show you guys this or I haven't in a long time, but I'm going to show you guys this because um, I usually do this if I am not banding my hair because I was actually going somewhere the same day that I did my hair so I didn't really have time to like stretch it with my bands so I just use my blow dryer and I do use the nozzle I do see some people using it without like the the nozzle but I always use the nozzle I feel like it works better on my hair and I just kind of pull my hair lightly um, and just stretch it out with that so I am going to show you guys most of this part um, just because I never really do it and I just kind of tug at the ends and just kind of stretch the root part, the roots, and kind of like the strands of my hair and kind of keep my ends really curly. But I actually loved how this came out. Doing it this way, I haven't done it this way in a while, usually because I have more time just to band my hair, but I actually like this. This will probably be something I'll do a lot in the summer because I feel like I'm gonna be going out a lot in the summer and I'm gonna be having some of these I need to get out the same day type of hairstyles, not no time to band my hair um, so I really like how this came out nonetheless I'm gonna let you guys sit through this part um, because I pretty much do this throughout my entire head and kind of fluff and separate my curls as I go and just kind of shape my hair how I want it to be pretty much the completed look guys I just kind of fluff my hair and shape I don't pick it out this is day one I usually don't pick them I haven't picked out a wash and go in a long time um, I just kind of like how it looks like this 
Um, I really like how this turned out. I really like this combo. My hair was super soft for days at a time. Really, really liked how this turned out. My hair was super soft. I'm love. I love no gel wash and goes. Um, I know in the summer that's not really going to be an option because it gets so humid. But I do really, really enjoy these, especially for in the winter months. It kind of motivates me to wear my hair out more in the winter when I can do these types of wash and goes, just because we're coming off the tail end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out my previous video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.